everyone, I am Tan Shiyi from Group 5 ASMTM5. This is my laboratory report video on production of tapai. Tapai is a traditional fermented food that is famous in Asian countries. Cassava, rice or glutinous rice can be used as substrate and inoculated with powdered ragi. Ragi is the starter culture that prepared by mixing rice flour, water and grounded spices. Then, the dough is molded into small circular flat cakes and sun-dried. The glutinous rice or cassava becomes soft and juicy after fermentation, results in a sweet and acidic taste with mild alcoholic aroma. In Indonesia, Singapore, Brunei, Thailand and Peninsula Malaysia, tapai is prepared as food, while in Sabah, it is consumed as an alcoholic beverage. There are two objectives in this practical. First is to understand the fermentation principle of the solid substrate is used to transform the local starch source, glutinous rice, into traditional cuisine. Second, to identify the effect of fermentation process on physical chemical properties of tapai. The materials are glutinous rice, 1 kg, coarse sugar, 4 tablespoons, yeast or ragi, 20 grams. In the beginning of the tapai making, the glutinous rice was washed thoroughly. Next, the glutinous rice was soak for 1 hour. The glutinous rice was cooked for 45 minutes. The cooked rice was cooled to room temperature. While waiting, the ragi was grinded into powder form. Half of the sugar and the ragi powder were added to a clean bowl. A layer of cooked glutinous rice was added to the bowl. The remaining sugar and ragi powder were added on top of the rice. Another layer of glutinous rice was added. The mixture was mixed gently to not break the rice grains. The plastic container was filled with the mixture not until full. Five containers of tapai were ready for fermentation. The containers were covered with the lids tightly. The containers were covered with clothes and incubated at room temperature. Different criteria of tapai were recorded after 3 days. Two panelists have participated the hedonic taste to evaluate the different aspects based on the scale from 1 to 9 of the homemade tapai. The results are shown in the table below. Based on the results, Aroma has obtained a mean score of 7 in the hedonic taste. The panelists commented that the tapai has a pleasant alcoholic sweet aroma. The pleasant aroma of the tapai is due to the formation of ester from organic acid and alcohol during the fermentation process. Alcohol reacts with the organic acid to carry out esterification, produces ester and water as the end products. Ester gives the fruity, sweet and alcoholic smell to the tapai. For flavor, the mean score is at 0.5. Panels describe that the tapai has a strong sweet taste with a light alcoholic aftertaste. The tapai has a strong sweet taste due to a high amount of reducing sugars. Malt, for example, climido, mucula, or zay in the ragi are amylolytic, which means they are able to degrade starches in the glutinous rice to reducing sugars, mainly glucose. According to book by Bakar, Malt reduces the total starch content of glutinous rice from 78% to 10% in 10 hours. Noted that the tapai also gives a slight alcoholic aftertaste. This is due to the decomposition of simple sugars into alcoholic compounds by yeast such as Endomyces fibulogera. The alcohol content in tapai after 2 to 3 days of fermentation at ambient temperature is approximately 2 to 3 percent. The alcohol content gradually increases with longer fermentation time. The mean score of texture is 6. Based on the review from both panels, 
The fermented glutinous rice has a soft and juicy texture and the juice is silky. However, both found that the tapai gave an astringent mouthfeel. Other than yeast and molds, lactic acid bacteria are also found in tapai. LAB produce organic acid in tapai according to study carried by Mary, Ken and Yo. The main organic acids detected are acetic acid, lactic acid, citric acid and succinic acid. The acids soften the glutinous rice during fermentation. The main reason behind the estrogen mouthfeel is believed to be the presence of antioxidants. Similar to wine, tannins are the established antioxidant compounds found in tapai, which contributes to its astringency. The mean score of appearance is 8. From the observation, the grains of the fermented glutinous rice look mushy. The fermented glutinous rice has become a semi-solid paste. The tapai is soaked in the juice, this contributes to its moist and watery appearance. In addition, the juice has a lightly effervescent or bubbly appearance. The tapai appears in semi-solid state after fermentation. This indicates that the grains of glutinous rice have been broken down and decomposed by the microorganisms. As mentioned in the previous part, organic acids present soften the glutinous rice in fermentation. The results mean the description of tapai by Crunk et al, where tapai is partially liquefied. As for the bubbles present in the tapai juice, it is because in alcoholic fermentation, carbon dioxide gases are produced as byproducts. The mean score of color is 8. It can be seen that the color observed on top of the tapai is yellowish white, and the part that soaked in the juice has a paler color. The juice produced is transparent and clear. According to the study by Yusmarini et al., tapai met with the additions of Lactobacillus plantarum 1 had a yellowish white color, while tapai met with the additions of yeast alone was white. L. plantarum 1 is a type of lactic acid bacteria, thus, it is assumed that LAB present in the fermentation of the homemade tapai, giving a yellowish white color to the tapai on its surface. The average score of overall acceptability is 8. This indicates that the tapai is highly accepted and preferred by the panelists. To conclude, the principle of tapai fermentation is inoculating solid starchy sources such as cassava, glutinous rice, or rice by standard cold ragi. The starches are cooked and mixed with powdered ragi and fermented at ambient temperature for about 2 to 3 days. The physical chemical properties of the starches change after fermentation due to microbial activities. Most from ragi hydrolyze the starches into reducing sugars. Then yeast convert the sugars into alcohol and produce carbon dioxide. This gives the sweet taste and alcoholic aroma to the tapai. Lactic acid bacteria produce organic acids which soften the texture of the tapai, turn it into semi-solid state. LAB also contribute to the yellowish white color in tapai. However, it is observed that the tapai gave an astringent mouthfeel, probably due to presence of tannin compounds. The following are the questions and answers related to this topic. Reference lease. Thank you.